Hi guys. Um, I wanted to tell my story today in walk away. The reason I have covered my face is because of uh, my job. Something very bad can happen to me. I'm a refugee girl from Iraq and uh, I lost all my families in the war in Iraq under Obama and Biden administration presidency. So they signed a horrible war in Iraq back then, which caused my mom, my dad, my brother and sister all died before my eyes. So I suffer a lot with traumas. Everything you can mention, life is almost unbearable to me, but I'm trying. My message to the United States is, do your own research. What I'm seeing at this point, especially from the side of the left, they have embraced Antifa, Black Lives Matter, all kinds of hate. They have only hate. And one thing I wanted to share also about the media, when my parents died, when the Iraq war uh, was happening, the media came to our place and told us what we sh must sh say on television and what we must not. So we were indoctrinated by them just to say what they wanted us to say. My message to my fellow Americans is don't believe anything the media is telling you. Always do your own research, whether it is news on the right or the left. You have to just um, do your own research. I'm so happy that Mr. Trump do, don't sign for any wars. Please, presidents, don't start a war. It's very bad, the situation. I'm a refugee. I'm not living in Iraq anymore, but every day I wake up with a lot of trauma, nightmares, everything. This is all the fault of the Biden and Obamas. I don't know why they continued the war in Iraq. More than 500,000 children died. More than 3,000 people died from drone attacks. My parents died, and I lost everything. My message to United States, please block the media. Do always your own research. If you can, vote in person. This is the most important election of you guys, and I hope you will vote to preserve the United States as the United States is at the moment. What can I say? Um, my message to Mr. Obama, you came on television with the voice of a professor telling people everything bad about Mr. Trump. It would be nice to say that you apologize for all the people that died my message to Biden, you made a crime bill. You did horrible things in Iraq. When will you expose that? But the thing is, you guys have the media on your side. And, you know, just don't trust the media. They will come with more stories and more this and that. Stories that have no sources at all. I mean... Every story they can make, they will do because they want to have the power and the control. Please, United States, my message to you guys is use your brains. Do your own research always. Everything that we do at the moment, if it's not fitting in their agendas, they delete it, they... Um, 
you know facebook my facebook account also is blocked everything is blocked because if you want to say something you can say all the videos of the medicines of uh, uh, the covid virus got deleted and we are controlled by a very big giant left wing i think at the moment and and have you noticed that the rapers the 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 people that uh, you know got killed or the murderers the rapists the the looters and shooters got protected while the the you know hollywood stars come to their funerals millions and millions of donations for them and suddenly the the victim it's it doesn't i don't know what is going on but what i see is somebody who is a rapist are praised and somebody who shot the rapist is is nothing more than a piece of crap i mean just think i don't care which party you are just just think what is going on and and if they if they praising a criminal what will they do to you and and the socialism this is never worked in any countries some years ago i went to venezuela where people are fighting for a loaf of bread the socialism thing uh, and uh, it's not something i would say yes to socialism this is just a big government who will control you guys forever and my message because i do, did not want to make this video but i saw so many things going on so i thought maybe it's good to tell the people how the media manipulated me when my family died i was told what to say and what not to say but at the time i wasn't you know i lived in iraq so my parents died everything was collapsed at the time i wasn't thinking for myself i was got indoctrinated by everything i read and and hear the i was addicted to the american news channels and thought everything they telling are true but now i came to a conclusion that is nothing more than a big indoctrination so my fellow lovely americans i don't care if you right or left i just want you guys to use your brains use your use your just use your brains do your own research and don't believe this media this media people are rich people these hollywood stars who are telling you who to vote these people are very rich people these are billionaires who are doing nothing for the black community but just creating more hate and division and more more hate and more violence can you remember the Kamala Harris and some more uh, congresswoman came on television and said we want more unrest no this uh, violence must not stop and they should not stop not after the election i mean these people have embraced this groups and antifa black lives matter every kinds of group they are destroying america as a person of color everything all lives matter to me no matter who you are what you believe and and every lives matter whether you are black brown yellow white i have respect for all the people my parents told me to work hard if i want to achieve something so my fellow americans my message to you is do your own research don't buy the lies of the media they are just a big propaganda machine and i hope you guys will vote to preserve the united states keep working hard you can achieve everything if you work hard you are not a victim you are a hero nobody in america should be treated as a victim 
but as heroes. And don't believe the lies. They will come up with more lies and more hate and more lies in the papers. Oh, the president has said this and this and this, but they have no sources. So, oh my goodness, my American friends. Don't be the slaves of the media. Don't let yourself brainwash by them. I wish you all the good luck and God bless you all. I love all the people, but I want you to say, don't let them fool you. That's their goal, to keep you as their victims and tell you that you are oppressed. No one is oppressed. You want to clean the mess? Start with yourself, not the media. They are not your friend, not at all. Always search for the truth. Only the truth will set you free, okay? Love you guys. This is my walkaway story. I'm sorry my English is also not so very well, but I'm trying. Oh, just don't let the media control you. Do your own research and don't go and watch clips a little bit cut and paste about this and that just do your own research that's my whole message in this video i lost my parents my brother and sister everybody died in the iraq war biden and obama never apologized for it never and the media cover it maybe our lives were not important but i pray for you that your life is important that's why I want you guys to think for yourself, do your own research, and God bless you all. Just vote with your brains and vote to preserve the United States as the United States is. And just say no to any kind of control, big government, and socialism. Love you guys.